Hello again. Okay. The most delicious sandwich in the world are peppers, eggs, and onions. Of course, onions can be eliminated for those who don't like them. But otherwise, this sandwich is absolutely fantastic. During Lent, or any time during the course of the year, and of course on beautiful Italian rolls. Okay, first of all, you're going to have a lot of oil. The oil is very essential, very important that you boil, you, you do these in deep oil. Now you're going to cut clean your peppers, and then you're going to place them all in your pan. And I will be adding more oil to this. Hello again. Okay. The most delicious sandwich in the world are peppers, eggs, and onions. Of course, onions can be eliminated for those who don't like them. But otherwise, this sandwich is absolutely fantastic. During Lent, or any time during the course of the year, and of course on beautiful Italian rolls. Okay, first of all, you're going to have a lot of oil. The oil is very essential, very important that you boil, you, you do these in deep oil. Now you're going to cut clean your peppers, and then you're going to place them all in your pan. And I will be adding more oil to this. I can tell by how many peppers that I am cutting up. These peppers are huge. Then I'm going to need a lot, a lot of oil to deep fry them. There you go. If I need more at the end, I will add to it. Okay, so now you're going to just slice your peppers. I have about eight huge peppers here. We love these. These are one of our, this is our favorite sandwich actually. Okay, so I'm going to slice all of these peppers, put them in here. Okay, I'm going to put the burner on to get the oil hot, get it started. By the time I get everything cut, they should be ready to go to cook. Okay, here we go. That's so good. I probably should have used my deeper pan, but oh well. These are fantastic. As I said, it's our favorite sandwich. It is so unbelievably delicious. Okay, I added more onion. It is a huge onion. And again, you don't have to put onion. I just love it in there. Then you want to add your salt. And I do like a good bit of it. And then you add your black pepper. Now you're going to let this cook until those peppers are all soft. <clears throat> okay, so again, the secret to peppers and egg sandwiches that are fantastic is deep frying them. And of course checking on them and they don't burn and all that good stuff. So you just keep mixing. Okay. So we'll come back when these are cooked, and then we can add the eggs to it. Okay, they're coming along really well. As you can see, they're cooking beautifully. Not going to be that much longer, though. Hopefully they'll be done. Yeah, they're, see they're, you see them hard. You can see the ones that are soft, and you can see the ones that are still hard. Okay. Here we go. Looking good. Okay, as you can see, these peppers are looking good. And almost done. Just make sure that the peppers are all cooked because there's nothing to me worse than biting into an uncooked cookie. Uh, pepper, I'm sorry. Now, I got my eggs in here. With this kind of a batch, I have quite a bit. 
I've got 14 eggs. So now you want to add salt and pepper to that. Okay. And then you're going to beat. Uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Now you're going to beat the eggs. I added the salt and the pepper. You don't want to put a hell of a lot because we already put it in with the peppers. So we're just going to beat this real good and set it aside because what we got to do now is start taking some of this oil out. Actually, a lot of the oil. Okay, so I'm going to drain oil out. See how far we're going. Yes, it's a waste, as you think, of the oil. But the end product is worth every bit of it. I do not use olive oil because, believe it or not, olive oil will change the taste. And I'm not fond of the taste with the olive oil. Okay, as you can see, a lot of the oil is out, and I'm going to still take a lot more off. <clears throat> Basically, you just want to leave enough in here for the uh, eggs to really cook. <laughs> you don't want to have a real oily sandwich here, but I will drain a lot more out. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is all drained. Well, well most of it anyway. Oh, shoot, there goes my, my fork. Alrighty. Now we're adding the eggs. Now, I'm going to pre-warn you. I'm not going to lie. It makes one hell of a mess. On your stove, because you're doing with, dealing with a lot of oil. But remember, soap and water takes it off. Okay, so we added the eggs. Oops, sorry. We added the eggs. So now you just have to make sure you keep stirring it until the eggs are cooked. And you don't want them to burn either. Oh my goodness. All right, it may not look so great, but boy, what do you eat it? Okay, so we'll just keep cooking it. We'll be back. Okay, friends, there it is. It's done. So, you know what? I'm ready to make myself a delicious sandwich. And I hope all of you can enjoy as much, look at this, oh yummy, I hope you enjoy it, God bless.